Hello everyone, this is Lori and welcome back to the Tarot Shelf. If you're new here, hello. Uh, every week I pull decks from my collection and share them with you here. And today I am doing a deck haul. So if you like that type of thing, consider hitting that subscribe button and we're going to go ahead and get into it. The first one is the Shadowland Tarot by Monica... Bodersky. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Sorry. <laughs> um, I got this one off of Amazon and it says about the deck shadows are said to be part of unlit corners of space where creatures lurk and mysteries dwell. Um, I saw this deck on another walkthrough and I was like, that looks pretty cool. I'm going to get it. I really like the yellow and black. I know a lot of people were kind of like, yeah, they liked the images of the cards, but they didn't like the background of it. But I really did. I like the yellow and black bath, uh, backs with the bats. I think it was really cute. And the side has this pretty gold gilding. And it's like a matte um, gilding. But here's the seeker. So it's like the bowl. The empress. Justice. And here they don't have like... Um, any eyeballs is just empty circles. <laughs> Those are pretty cool. So let me know if you have this deck, what you think about it. I thought it was really cool. I can't wait to really get in there and work with it, but really cool. This is the first one. Alrighty, we're gonna take a look at the second one here, and it is Guardian of the Night. And this is a beautiful deck. Um if you have seen the Crow Tarot, this is um, made by the same creator. Um, she also has several other decks out that are just beautiful. This deck is um, kind of a collage deck, and I usually don't like collage decks, but this one is just beautiful, and I love her decks. They're all like animal-based, and I just love them. Um, the images in these cards are so pretty. Look at the backs are pretty too. I love them. I can't wait to work with this one. The world is the bee. There's the bull. <laughs> the high priestess is the bat. These are just beautiful. Again, I'm not really one for kind of collage decks, but this one's different to me. I can't wait to use it. It's beautiful. Alrighty, we are going to move on to the next deck, which is, this one is going to be the Phantom Pack by Edward Gorey, and I found this one on Amazon, and it is just a cute little funny deck. It says, Edward Gorey's Phantom Pack, first published in a limited edition in 1995, and long out of print offers a bleak yet hilarious take on the classic tarot deck um, enclosed 20 cards featuring uh, mysterious archetypes such as the yellow bird the bottle and the limb it's just a really cute deck so um take a look at these cards tell me if you have this deck it's i mean it's it's really cute didn't cost that much and i like having it in my collection Okay, the next one is Madame Clara Presents the Five Cent Tarot. And this one I got on Kickstarter a while back, and I have just not opened it or unboxed it, and I wanted to go ahead and include it here. And here are some of the goodies I got with the deck. And I got a number 77 out of 1,000 print run. So this is the first edition, and... Um, I really love it. It's super cute. Super cute. And there's no humans in this deck. Um, it's kind of a little whimsical um, little deck. It has, um, let me see, the pentacles are buttons, the wands are matchsticks, swords are needles, and the cups are vintage teacups. And um, how they created this, the keywords um, are in upright and reverse positions. So if you read reversals, you can do that with this deck. And it's, it's a very cute deck. I can't wait to 
mess with it and open it up. So let's see what's in there. Here's the bags. Those are pretty. And okay, here's the Ace of Matches. Two matches. These are so cute. And I like that they have the words on the top and the bottom for reversals. I don't ever read reversals, but I like this. Ace of Needles. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like it had like other keywords on there. Death card. These are very cute. All right, I can't wait to mess with these. Card stock's good. Awesome. All right, let's move on to the next one. Alrighty, this next one I also got on Kickstarter. Um, I believe it's available on Etsy. Um, it is called the Mermaid Cat Tarot. And this is another cute little whimsical deck. Um, it has like fantasy, it's like a fantasy sea world of mermaids and cats. And it is based on like the Rider Waite deck. So if you can read that, you will have no problem reading that, this one. It's so cute. Look at the little mermaids. <laughs> they cats. Oh, this is so cute. Even they got that was a bunny mermaid. Hmm. Very cute. Super cute. I cannot wait to play with this one. And it's got linen cardstock. So stinking cute. All right, that's definitely gonna be one of my favorites. All right, let's move on. Here it is the Mildred Payne's Secret Pocket Oracle deck. And um, if you know anything, if you've seen my videos, you know that I love Patrick Valenza's uh, from the Deviant Moon, and this is one of his creations as well. And this is the deluxe edition one. And you can get this one off of the Deviant Moon website, or I think he also has it on Etsy as well. And uh, I know there's like, I think there's a mini version, but this is the, um, the pocket size. So it's so cute. I love it. It's just, it has like, I don't know, a vintage feel to it. All of his decks do to me, I guess. But this is just, see how it's just made to look like worn old on paper. Very cool. I love it. I love this style. Aldrin. So if you like this deck, check out his website and get yourself one. There's Al. Super cute. I'm going to be playing with this all the time. I know it. Going to be another favorite. All right, let's move on to the next one. This next one I was really excited to get. And it is the... Um, mom Memento Mori Lenormand in Oracle deck and it is by the same creator as the Antique Anatomy Tarot um, you can tell by just the style of it but it's from blackinthemoon.com and um, you can go check out her website there but these cards I love oh I love once you see them you will know I mean you can tell by the box but you know, at first I really wasn't drawn to this style of um, cards, but I really am drawn to these. I just love it. I love the backgrounds. I love the simplicity of the cards. They're so cute and I love them. And the back of the cards are made to look like this worn, look like they're kind of worn out. I can't play, wait to play with these two. So I just love them. The horseshoe, the whip. Let me know if you have this deck. I love it. Sorry, I'm just looking at the images. <laughs> I really love this. Okay, 
we will move on to the next deck. I don't want to make this video so super long. And we have a few more to get through. So, all right, next deck. All right, the next one is going to be the Creepy Tarot. And I was really excited to get this deck. Um, you can get it from www.creepykawaii.com. And this deck says, the Creepy Tarot deck um, is illustrated by Stephanie Black of the Creepy Kawaii. It follows the style of, style of the classic Rider Waite deck, as well as other um, inspirational decks from around the globe. If you like monsters, demons, undead, and creepy imagery, this dark deck is for you. And it, it is really a cool deck. I saw pictures of it and I was like, yep, that one's for me. Um, it is on black core premium plus glossy cardstock with a uh, metallic inked card backs. And um, when I first opened this, I was like, what? There's like two parts to this? But I guess I just had it in two sections. One section is the Major Arcana and the other side, this other um, one that I'm gonna unwrap now is the Minor Arcana. But they are super cute. I'm not sure why they packaged it that way, but um, when I put them all together in the box, it they fit perfectly inside the box. So I don't know, maybe they were printed two different places. I, I have no idea, but they seem perfect together. So let's look at these cards. Oh, look at the lovers. <laughs> oh. Wheel of Fortune. I like the little bits of color in there in the black, white, and gray. And then they have these little hints of color. These are very cute cards. All right, so it's kind of like, they're kind of like all the way pip, pip decks. Very cute. All right, I like these. These are a winner. All right, let's take a look at the next one I got. Okay, the next one is the Darkness of Light Tarot. And this one is the fourth edition. And I really love this. I saw this, um, deck on another unboxing and I was like yes please so um it does have the linen stock the cards are linen finish they are really pretty nice cards and what I really like about um this deck is how like subdued the imagery is I guess with the colors and stuff it's just kind of there, you see it's just kind of like the hints of color are just very soft and I really love this deck. What really made me really like this deck is the sun card. So I think I show a picture of that one here, but I love that sun card. The tower. There, isn't it cute? <laughs> Love it. Love this deck. Let me know if you have um, the Darkness of Light Tarot. I have heard um, some collectors say that they do not like the linen finish because they feel like it takes away from the boldness of. The imagery on the cards but since I don't have any other edition I think this is one's just perfect so let me know what you think about this one and we will check out the next deck okay the next one is from Baba Studios the fantastic menagerie tarot deck and I love this deck oh my gosh it's just it's almost too nice to use 
you guys. I don't, this is my first Baba Studio deck. So I was like, what? I mean, <laughs> it's got shimmery on there. Oh, I did buy the guidebook to go along with it here. And then I did also get um, a tarot bag for it. But these cards are beautiful. Uh, beautiful. All right. Um, in the deck, it does have this little thank you little card in there and it did come with a little the little white book um also but oh my gosh I don't think that the camera is picking up how beautiful these cards are but they are so pretty oh my gosh you see that like sheen on there I don't know they're gorgeous and again an animal deck which I love animal decks I know not everybody does but I sure do Look at that full card. And the card stock's nice. And there's so much to take in on each card. So much going on. Gosh, these cards are so pretty. And I usually don't, you know, get cards and really don't tend to use them. I mean, I do... I am a tarot collector, but... I want to use my cards and oh these ones this is the first deck I've ever gotten that I'm like whoa they're like so pretty I don't want to hurt them <laughs> I don't want to damage them so cute absolutely love this deck I will probably do a fast flip on this one and show all the cards but man beautiful deck all right next one let's see what else we got all righty this next deck is the oz tarot and this also was a kickstarter that i backed and it is really cool i live in kansas so i was like oh i gotta get this <laughs> let's see what this one's all about but oh look how cute in the inside it's got the little i didn't notice that before little brick road on the inside it does come with a little guidebook it's colored wow look at that hologram Woo! that is pretty it's like gold hologram nice okay there's the full I'm going to have to read that guidebook. I mean, some of these characters, I... Oh, Wheel of Fortune, that's a good one. Death card. Very cute, though. Different kind of character deck. I don't have a... Any Wizard of Oz decks are very cute. The Lion. Three of Swords. And the Tin Man. Okay, super cute deck. I will probably do a walkthrough of this one as well, so you can see all the cards. But all right, let's move on to the next deck. Alrighty, the next one is the original Dog Tarot. And let's see. Discover the ancient wisdom of the major and minor Barkana. <laughs> um, this is a super cute deck. Again, I like animal decks. And uh, whenever I was first opening this, and you'll see when I'm going through this, I'm like, what? Okay, so it comes with a guidebook. And whenever I was filling the cards, I was like, wait a minute, there's not 78 cards here. What happened? <laughs> and uh, when I'm going through it, I'm like, huh? But there's not, um, there's not 78 deck, 78 cards in this 
Um, and you'll watch while I'm going through it. I'm like, kind of like, huh, okay. Like, I mean, like, that's kind of thin. And I'm like, hmm, thinking to myself, well, we'll still go through them. <laughs> but look how cute. Look at the fool. Stinking cute. Chasing that butterfly. Mm-hmm. The pack. Moon. I like that little fortune. Cute. So it has the one of bowls, the three of bowls, and seven of bowls. And then the same thing. One of one leash one of leashes. Three of leashes and seven of leashes. So it has three cards for each suit for the um, minor arcana. So, okay, so here we have like the one of bowls, the three of bowls, and the seven of bowls, and the one of leashes, three of the, yeah, one of bones, three of bones, seven of bones. So there's only three cards for each suit, but that would explain why it's so thin. <laughs> and then I went to the guidebook to make sure, and I was like, what? But yeah, but these are super cute cards. Um, let me know if you have this deck as well. And let's see what's next. Alrighty, the next deck is going to be Moonology Oracle Cards. And it is a 44 card deck. And it does come with a nice guidebook. And it is from Hay House. Um, I believe I, I, I did get this one off of Amazon as well. Yeah, I did. So, let's check this one out. Here it shows a little guidebook. It has some spreads in there. Take time to breathe out. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. So this will be a fun deck to work with. And here are the backs. A new start is coming. The new moon. And the cardstock is nice in this deck, too. Have faith in your dreams. These are really pretty cards. I'm going to see how I'm going to have to use these cards. I'll read more in the guidebook. Hard work's paying off. Full moon and Leo. Yeah, so I'm gonna really get into the guidebook here and see how I can use these oracle cards, but they are so pretty. So, okay. Well, that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tarot haul, and I will see you guys next time.